Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here, and welcome back to another installment of The Now Review. And the big moment has finally arrived, it is the 40th anniversary of Now That's What I Call Music as a Whole, a humble little compilation series that started in 1983, grew into something that I think even the original founders of the idea never would have expected 40 years on, hundreds and hundreds of albums, both mainline numbered and special editions as well, and this package is aiming to celebrate the best across the last four decades. So we're going to be taking a look at the CD version of Now That's What I Call 40 Years. So naturally, with it being a 40th anniversary, I think many of us suspected that an album like this would come. We had it for 25 years, we had it for 30 years, so of course a 40 years album was almost inevitable at this point. It was going to happen. Now, the celebrations have been released in many forms, but I'd say this is the main version. This is the one most people arguably were going to reach out for. This is now, that's what I call 40 years. And let's just take a look at this front cover. As you can see, we've got a lovely array of colours there. I actually really like the light up uh, highlighting effect around everything there. The yellow, green and red around the now, blue around the that's what I call, around the 40. It just looks really nice, really slick. A brand that's been around a while, it's very, you know, it knows what it's doing. It knows how to present itself on these occasions. I know some people probably would have wanted in the background maybe callbacks to past nows like they did on 25 years. But personally, I think this is just fine enough. This is straight to the point. You know what you get in 40 years of now. Yada, yada, yada. And as such, this isn't a three disc nor a four disc. This is a five disc album. Five disc albums seem to come for special occasions for now these days. So a five disc album, which celebrates over 40 years of now history. We're going to see what it's got on it. There's the spine. As you can see, it's a little bit chunkier as maybe you'd expect. In fact, this is definitely one of the chunkiest now albums we've had in recent years. So let me flip it on over to the back and we will take a look at that all important track list. So with CD1, you'll notice that all the tracks in brackets have which now that they came from and of course the year that that came out. So on CD1, we have uh, Culture Club with Karma Chameleon, great tune. UB40 with Red Red Wine, Bonnie Tyler with Total Eclipse of the Heart, all three of those coming from now on, all three also number one. You have Queen with Radio Gaga, Frankie Goes to Hollywood with Relax, Paul McCartney with Pipes of Peace, all bringing up now two there. Tina Turner with What's Love Got to Do With It, Wham with Wake Me Up Before You Go Go, Ray Parker Jr. with Ghostbusters, Eurythmics, which of course is Annie Lennox, Dave Stewart with There Must Be an Angel, Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel, Billy Ocean with When the Going Gets Tough, The Tough Get Going, Banana Rama with Venus, The Communards with Sarah J. Morris and Don't Leave Me This Way, Run DMC v Aerosmith with Walk This Way, Bon Jovi with Living on a Prayer, To Pow with China in Your Hand, The Pet Shop Boys with their version of Always on My Mind, and S Express with the theme from S Express. So we have 19 tracks on CD1, taking us up to now 12. CD2 kicks off with Yaz and the Plastic Population with The Only Way Is Up, Womack and Womack with Teardrops, Kim Wilde with You Came, Mark Almond and Gene Pitney with Something's Gotten Hold of My Heart, Soul to Soul and Karen Wheeler with Back to Life, Sinead O'Connor with Nothing Compares to You, Elton John and Sacrifice, Andrew Lloyd Webber and Jason Donovan with Any Dream Will Do, Shakespeare's Sister with Stay, the KLF with Justified and Ancient. Think it would have been better if it was 3AM Eternal, but there we are. Snap with Rhythm is a Dancer. Duran Duran with Ordinary World. Sade with No Ordinary Love. Freddie Mercury with Living on My Own. Meat Loaf with I'd Do Anything for Love, but I Won't Do That. Wet 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 with Love is All Around. The Pretenders with I'll Stand By You. Coolio and LV with Gangster's Paradise. And Oasis with Don't Look Back in Anger. So another 19 tracks there, taking us up to now 33. CD3 kicks off with The Spice Girls and Wannabe, George Michael with Fast Love, Eternal Feet Bibby Winnens with I Wanna Be The Only One, All Saints with Never Ever, Aqua and Barbie Girl, Natalie Imbruglia with Torn, Robbie Williams with Angels, Boyzone with No Matter What, Cher with Believe, Britney Spears and Baby One More Time, Steps with Tragedy, Gabrielle with Rise, S Club with Don't Stop Moving, Kylie Minogue with Can't Get You Out Of My Head, Mary J Blige with Family Affair, Sophie Ellis Bexter with Murder on the Dance Floor, Girls Aloud with Sound of the Underground, Justin Timberlake with Cry Me a River, The Black Eyed Peas with Where Is the Love, and Will Young with Leave Right Now. So another 20 tracks there on CD3, so we are on 58, and that takes us up to now 57. James Blunt with You're Beautiful, Westlife with You Raise Me Up, Niles Barkley with Crazy, Mika with Grace Kelly, Amy Winehouse with Back to Black, Leona Lewis with Bleeding Love, Take That with Rule the World, Pink with So What, Coldplay with Viva La Vida, 
The Killers with Human, Lady Gaga and Bad Romance, Katy Perry with Firework, Jennifer Lopez and On the Floor, Lana Del Rey with Video Games, One Direction with What Makes You Beautiful, Psy with Gangnam Style, Bastille with Pompeii, Pharrell Williams with Happy, Miley Cyrus with Wrecking Ball, Sia with Chandelier, and Adina Menzel with Let It Go, of course, and Frozen. Another 21 tracks on there, which means we're on 79, and that takes us up to now 88. And finally, CD5, we have Sing by Ed Sheeran, Mark Ronson and Bruno Mars with Uptown Funk, Little Mix with Black Magic, Shawn Mendes with Stitches, Justin Bieber with Love Yourself, Rag and Bone Man with Human, Dua Lipa with New Rules, George Ezra with Shotgun, Calvin Harris and Sam Smith with Promises, Kiala Settle and The Greatest Showman Ensemble, which of course is This Is Me, Lewis Capaldi with Someone You Loved, Billie Eilish with Bad Guy, The Weeknd and Blinding Lights, Glass Animals with Heat Waves, Olivia Rodrigo with Driver's License, Lil Nas X with Montero, Elton John and Dua Lipa with Cold Hearts, the Pinal remix, Sam Ryder and Spaceman, David Guetta and BB Rexa with I'm Good, Lorene with Tattoo, really happy that's here, and Kylie Minogue finishes things off with Perdam, Perdam, which takes us up to now 115. So that's another 21 tracks on there, which means, folks, you have precisely 100 tracks, 100 tracks across the last 40 years of now. A lot of those I'm sure are very familiar. We'll talk about my thoughts on the track list in just a second. But let's open this bad boy up, see what we've got inside. On the left-hand side there, you'll see that this is also available on 3LP vinyl, which I'll talk about in a couple of moments. And of course, follow them on all their social medias. When you open this up, they're housed in the normal light little slots. The discs you can see are all the same format with a different color at the top. So disc 1 is red, disc 2 is yellow, disc 3 is green, disc 4 is blue, and disc 5 is purple so a lovely almost rainbow collage of colors there really really nice stuff now just to talk about the track list so there's 100 tracks on here so that's a lot of value for money in terms of the just number you're getting but the songs themselves my gripe when they do things like this is of course they're going to call back over the last in this case 40 years but as you can see each of these came from a numbered now so if you have collected every numbered now as i have and many others have then this release may seem a little pointless. You already own these songs in one form or another, whether that be vinyl, CD, hell, even cassette. And a lot of these songs do pop up when they do even just the general spin-off compilations. So many of these songs have appeared before. And, you know, for those who collect everything, outside of this being the 40th anniversary release, there might not be much reason for you to purchase this. I mean, I know for me, myself, I was even on the fence about even getting this, but I thought, you know, it, I have to review something for the 40th anniversary, so I may as well get this, but it didn't really inspire me, the track list, if I'm going to be completely honest. As I say, sheer quantity of songs, yeah, sure, value for money's there, but in terms of the choices, it's, it's more of the same that we've had before. It retails between, say, 12 and 15 pounds, depending on where you get it from. I get mine from HMV. But I just want to touch on the vinyl version. Now, again, I didn't get this personally, but as you can see, it comes on three discs, one blue, one white, one purple. Very interesting mix of colors there, but still quite nice. And here's just a quick shot of the track list. Now, like with any vinyl release, you're only getting a selection here. So instead of getting 100 tracks, you're actually getting 43, so less than half. That immediately puts me off personally, because if I'm paying between 30, 35 pounds for a 3LP vinyl that is less than half of the CD version, that, you know, already screams a bit of, oh, is this worth the money? And for me, again, just taking a look at these, I mean, so many of these have appeared on Now Vinyl. So many of them are easily accessible on vinyl in their own rights or on different compilations. So, yeah, wasn't really inspired to get this one, if I'm honest. But if you do, as I say, retails between 30 and £35, depending on where you get it from. It's likely to be limited edition. I'm not sure to how many, but if that's your thing, then maybe this is the one you want to go for. And I would be remiss if I didn't at least touch on the other 40th anniversary releases. So as well as the 40 Years album, we're now we're also releasing uh, volumes that are going by decade by decade. So you can see uh, volume one here covers 1983 to 1993. Volume two covers 1993 to 2003. Volume three covers 2003 to 2013. And volume four covers uh, 2013 to 2020. Three. Now, in concert with this, again, this is a fun idea, and just immediately when you look at the track list for these things, some of them do appear on the base 40 years album, but then so many, because they're, you know, they're going by 10 years instead of 40, there are so many more tracks on here that do not feature 
on the main 40 Years album. And you might be thinking, well, Adam, if that's the case, you know, if there's so many more tracks, why don't, why don't you get these CDs? Why don't you pick this up? And the answer to that is, if you look at even any of the track lists on here, many of them, again, if not all of them, have appeared on Now albums before. It says it in brackets next to the names there. So again, if you own all the numbered Nows in some way or another, then you already have all of these tracks. So the volume, and, but, and also it's expensive, you know? I mean, the, the CDs themselves each retail between 10 and 15 pounds. So if you got all four of them, at the cheapest, say that's £40. At the most expensive, it's 60 Oh, and I forget to mention, did you know there are vinyl versions of all four of these? This I th this is where I thought this is getting ridiculous. So not only do you get these volume sets, but they also exist in vinyl form. Each again going by decade, but you only get a selection of tracks. You're not getting as many tracks on the CD there. And again, like the 40 years, these retail between £30 and £35 each. You heard me each so let's say easy medium quick maths so say they're 32 pounds each for the vinyl editions alone if you want all four you'll be paying around 128 pounds for four triple vinyls with many tracks that you already have in different forms and i mean add the cds into that again say happy medium let's say they're 12 pounds each bit of quick maths that's 48 for the four add that to the total and then you're paying somewhere somewhere crazy, like, you know, nearly 170, 180. And then if you want both 40 years releases as well, we're talking near 200 pounds. I know some collectors are more than happy to do that. And again, if you're happy to do that, that's completely your prerogative. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. But for me, I just thought this was getting a bit silly. I only needed one album to represent the 40th anniversary, so I chose the base one. But again, these these volume CDs, I've already got these tracks. I don't need them in these vinyl forms, even though some of them are really cool. You know, particularly the like 03 to 23 stuff, like the last 20 years, some of that hasn't been on vinyl before. But I just, I can't justify spending that much. And I know what my brain's like because they've numbered these volumes one to four. If I say just got volume three, then it's almost that compulsion. Well, I'd have to get the rest of them as well. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. But yeah, just keep that in mind. It's not just a 40 years base album. You've got all this to contend with as well. It rounds back on my thoughts on the 40th anniversary as a whole. And I will do a video talking about this a little bit later. But for me, this 40 years album, whilst I'm glad now has been here for 40 years and it's looking like it's going to continue, you know, further and beyond, this release is just pretty lackluster. I know they probably didn't have much scope because the best way to honor the past 40 years is to include tracks that have appeared on now over the past 40 years. So it's limited in what they can do. This is great for someone who hasn't been in touch with now for many, many, many years. Or it's even good as like a gateway now, someone who's just coming into the franchise because you're getting 100 tracks on this CD from across the last 40 years. Many of them are absolute bangers. So for someone who's brand new, this is great. For the seasoned fan, outside of diehard collectors who will literally buy everything, not so much. But that's all for this installment of the Now Review. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like on the video. It really does help us out. And subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. We'd love to have you aboard. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you getting Now 40 Years? Are you getting the CD? Are you getting the vinyl? Are you getting any of those volume sets? Just let me know what you're getting to celebrate these 40 years. In the meantime, I've been Adam Martin from AMTV Now. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next time for another spin on the turntable.